Okay, um, I'm going to show you a video of what settings I use in Global Agenda and just stuff about my mouse and yeah, just my general game. To start off, I will bring out the mouse tab in Windows 7. You go into the bottom left and click on the search thing and just put in mouse. You want to go on pointer options and the default it should be on the sixth notch so one two three four five six and that'll be out of eleven yeah that's the default you don't want to go higher because it makes your mouse inaccurate and going lower causes some other bullshit that i don't know the details of but yeah you, you just want to stay on six um normally you'll have enhanced point precision ticked precision precision i'm tired you'll normally have that ticked um, you want it unticked. Ticked means you have mouse acceleration on and that is very bad. If you don't know what mouse acceleration is, I'll go over it um, in later in this video. So yeah, you want that unticked. You want to click apply, click OK. The next thing you want to do is right click and I use an ATI graphics card. So I will change my monitor hertz through there. Um, on XP, oh yeah, I need to say something about the mouse hat. So on XP, I think you may need to use CPL mouse fix to remove all of the uh, mouse acceleration. Uh, might be the same for Vista, might not be, I'm not sure. I haven't used this operating system for a while. But right here, I want to change my monitor hertz. I want to get the maximum monitor hertz that I can because the higher the monitor hertz, the smoother your picture is while you're playing. So. I bring up my catalyst control center thing and does that fit? I can't fit all of it but basically I have this tab, someone is steam friends with me, how lovely. I have this tab, um, desktop properties and the refresh rate in the bottom here. Most people's monitors will be a refresh rate of 60 hertz or 75 hertz. I have bought a monitor with 120 hertz refresh rate these cost a lot more and yeah they're better than the other monitors because they're just fucking awesome the pictures are very smooth and i love it so yeah i have that on and that's done for the settings what am i saving this as i will save the file as ruffle i will load up global agenda it's actually loading quicker than normal. It's always handy. So I've put all my settings to default apart from my mouse sensitivity here, something like that, um, to this video so I can tell you what settings I use. Right now everything looks pretty, pr pretty, pretty. <laughs> I will jump on my assault. Um, you'll find out what my name is in the top left. Most people already know. I'm probably not meant to tell you, but I don't give a shit. Because um, I won't be playing this game for much longer, hopefully. So, right. Straight away. Let's go on the general tab. My mouse sensitivity is 8. It, as long as you're happy with your mouse sensitivity, then what I have shouldn't make a difference to what you should have. Just because I'm a kajillion times better than you big EP right there. Um, just as long as you can do a, a, like a 180 fast, that's all you need to do. Um, you don't want a sensitivity that's too high where you can't track and you don't want a sensitivity that's too low where you can't turn around. So I just have, my mouse is 400 DPI, my Windows uh, thingy is on 611 and yeah my in-game sensitivity is 8. I use a QCK Plus, and that is a pretty big mouse map. It's like the same length as a keyboard, and oh, I always say this wrong. Same width as a keyboard, and the length of it is the equivalent of two keyboards. Kind of uh, bollocks. I'm, I'm tired. I don't know. Don't know what I'm talking about. Um, the only setting here that I don't want on is enable mouse moving. It's probably no. I don't even like. 
it's just a bad setting to have on. In bad company too, it's automatically on. That makes the game really shit instantly. It's a really bad console port already. It just makes it worse by having that on. It makes your mouse movement not accurate to what's actually happening and it smooths it all out. So you don't want that. And all the others are self-explanatory. So I click apply, go into the video settings. To start off, I want to run in borderless mode because if you run in full screen, it will only run at 60 hertz. So that will mess up your mouse sensitivity and your obviously you won't be running at the highest hertz. So having 120 hertz monitor, it's only running at 60 hertz makes no difference. Vertical sync, you don't want that on. Vertical sync uh, syncs your monitor hertz. No, syncs your FPS to your monitor hertz, and it messes up your sensitivity. FPS moving, I have that off, but you can have it on. Having it on limits your FPS to 60, uh, to 62, and it's good if your monitor isn't over 60 hertz. But if it's 75 hertz, I would recommend having this unticked. What it does is just so it just says right there that having it uh, ticked means that your I'm not even reading this. Basically, your computer doesn't work as hard, so it won't overheat. I don't want any of these lights. I don't give a shit about lights. I don't care about shadows because shadows aren't important in this. High material detail. A lot of people will want this on. I would recommend. I would just. Just don't have this on it messes up your game so much like you you put your mouse over someone and your game feels like an absolute sweaty anus that's splooging sweat or something yeah it's just not good to have on but the dyes and all the effects look all magical but I just can't be asked to sacrifice that for a shit game high character detail I don't have it on that's uh, in PvE, the Elite Assassins, it's the most, notice most noticeable with this on. Their armor looks all magical and crap. I don't care. Bordered player names doesn't really matter. Preference, static decals. Um, don't care about painted logos. Dynamic decal, decals. Don't care about bullets. Don't care about foliage. Bloom, definitely not. Distortion effects, don't care. Motion blur, no. That one though, depth of field, I'm tired so I'm just avoiding anything that requires me to like look at it. Lens flare, no, 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 no shadows, turn that off. I want this on, I haven't even tested with it the other modes, but I've got a decent computer, it's an i5-760 at 4 gigahertz, uh, an ATI 5850 and 4 gigabytes of RAM, so it's kind of mid high end ish. Um, but about six months ago, so it's not as high end as it used to be. But this, I want that on times one because it doesn't make much of a difference in this game. Particle detail, whack that on normal. I've yeah, so I was saying I've got decent here. I was fiddling around with these ones earlier, and I couldn't see much of a difference in my FPS when I changed it from low to high. So whack them all on high. It means I can see people's names in the VR, which is really pointless. But oh, my computer can handle it, so why not? And I'll click apply to that. My sound, all these settings stay the same. Controls, I need to change them. Jump, right click, crouch, left control, turn it, fire, middle click. Melee, three, range, scroll up, specialty, scroll down, jetpack, space bar. That one Q, that one E, that one four, that one boost, that one, that one boost, that one, yep, yep, yep. That's all my settings done, nice and quick. Hopefully I didn't just miss any by doing it too quick. Click apply on that, and what is my brightness gonna be like? Like right now my FPS, oh, it feels like an arse. Like with these graphic settings and stuff, got like 60 FPS. I'll restart that quick. It's recording. 
Okay. Now I'm in. What is my FPS like? First I will go over my settings. Let's see what... Oh, next is asking what am I doing? I'll uh, say so making a guide for you, bro. So, <laughs> next is saying thanks. Enable mouse moving. No, 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 no. That's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Yep, 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 and yep. Okay, and that is pretty much it for the sensitivity and settings, all that bollocks. I would recommend with a sensitivity, like I've already said, that you should be able to do a quick 180 and you should also be able to track someone. Oh, look at that, that's perfect timing. Set up. Should be able to track them. Yeah, and. Also, mouse acceleration, I'll just explain that quickly. Basically, moving from point A to B, moving slowly, with mouse acceleration, if you move quick, you'd end up, or like, if I move quick, I'll end up half, like, the same spot, because I don't have mouse excel on, if I move slowly. I'm not really not doing this very well. But with mouse excel, you'll be like this. Woo! Like you go over the point totally, and the same with negative mouse acceleration. That doesn't it doesn't happen much, doesn't happen often on the mice these days. But I use an Intelli 3.0 that's known for having mouse negative acceleration. Fucking hell! It's known for having negative acceleration because it uses an 8-bit data path. Blah 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 blah, and you need to overclock the mouse hertz on the mouse so you don't get the problem. Um, but negative acceleration would be where you move it really quick and it only goes there or something. So I could probably do it. Yeah, that's negative acceleration right there. Like, if I move my mouse slowly, I would have gone about there. Negative acceleration. I'm pretty much making my mouse skip. If anything was in the way with my mouse movement there, my hand would be damaged. Yeah, okay, that's it. And yeah, there are my settings. Goodbye, see you.